Hey guys, Tales of Greed here, welcome back to some more Let's Play Night of Rats Husk. Last time, uh, well, we just reached Fenor and found out that Lloyd pretty much killed everyone in town. So now we have to try and find some survivors if we can. Just, it's crazy to think that Lloyd would do all these things. Um... And we can't really do anything about it. It's like he's beating us everywhere. So, we've been sent to go to the church. So, let's head there. <clears throat> Regal! Oh, Emil. The city was hit hard, but they should be able to get back on their feet with the right help. I'll need to contact my company's Disaster Recovery Division for assistance. Your clothes? I gave them to one of the injured. It gets pretty cold here at night. They're thin, but they're better than nothing. And... And? We're going after Lloyd. There's no telling what may happen. Those clothes are not appropriate for fighting. For my friend, I shall endure these clothes, this humiliation, for a while. I like them. I don't see what's so bad about them. But I guess they are like... The clothes of some dude... Who has like been thrown in said jail said... said you know, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, let's go ahead and head for the church, which is right up here. Uh, so how you guys doing today? Is it a wonderful day? Dead people everywhere. Trying to find surviving people who might not be dead and such. Anyway, scene. Whoa, what is this smell? Please make her crazy about me. The smell's coming from this guy. And then, make her say she likes me, and she'll hold my hand, and give me a long, passionate kiss, and she'll say, Dex, I could never live without you. And then she'll plead with me and say, marry me, I love you. Are you high? Hmm? What do you want, kid? Uh, nothing. Random ass pose. Don't tell me. What? You've got a crush on me too. I'm not gay. Sorry to inform huh? you. Ah, yes. The mail order catalog did say that this Otis seduction cologne would affect men and women alike. No, I don't. Don't be embarrassed, kid. I understand how you feel. But see, I've already promised myself to another. Do you have to dance while talking? I mean, that's a little... Look, look, watch! Look at him! He looks weird! He's like doing this weird dance. But perhaps this little rendezvous was meant to happen. I shall leave you with a gift of some of my ever-fragrant Eau de Seduction. Hooray! God. Farewell! Random ass poses. What was that guy? Hey, young man. If you have a free hand, we could use some help carrying the injured. Yes. What was that guy's problem? It looks like things have started to calm down. I'm glad we could help, though I wish they weren't needed in the first place. By the way, did you see Rain or Genus? No. 
I see. That worries me. They should have gotten here before us. Do you think they got caught in the attack? Fretting over that now won't accomplish anything. Shall we depart to retrieve the Centurion's core? Tenebrae, you can be so cold-hearted. Why would you say that? Marta joins the party and Regal joins the party. God, what was with that guy? He was like on something. He needs to lay off the crack, man. Anyway, let's head for the Centurion's core. Oh, no voice acting. Okay. You're... Thanks a lot for helping out. Because of that foul-smelling guy, people were avoiding the church area. But you stepped right in to help. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, I want... I wanted you to have this. I bought it from a merchant that just came back from Mizuho. And we get the water spider. This is actually quite important. What is it? He said that it allows you to walk on water. I have no use for it, so I want you to have it. Come on, take it. It's a show of our appreciation. Well, thanks again. Uh, thanks, guy. You just didn't want it, did you? So he just gave us something he doesn't want? He could have given us something better. True. Yeah, he could have given me some money. Even though I have two million gold. Anyway, let's head out. Yeah, that guy was, uh, kind of creepy. Ooh. If I may bring up our previous discussion. Huh? Well, which one? You mentioned that I was so cold-hearted. Though it may seem that way, in actuality, I am quite kind. Oh, that. Yes. For example, if a monster is near death and suffering, I do not hesitate to use my powers to bring them under my control. And in battle, I always make sure to finish off an opponent, no matter how much they beg, before they have a chance to regret fighting me. And that's being kind? Yes. Among Centurions, I am known for my moderation. I think you mean spitefulness. Anyway, let's head for the tempo of ice. This is a surprise. Flanor was unusually warm, but now the ice here is melting. Is it normally much colder here? Yes. This whole area used to be covered in snow and ice. How unusual. It looks like this might be a Celsius's tear. That voice! Isn't that rain? Yep, it's look, it looks like we've caught up with them. But first... If I can't avoid this guy. Oh, fine. We... Oh, I thought there was a chest back here. Is there any chest around here? Oh, I guess not. Okay. Let's go meet up with Rain and Genius. Who, thank God, aren't hurt from the attack. Hi, guys. You're all right. Did something happen? It was terrible. When we got to Flanor. Black screen to explain everything. No way. All those poor townspeople. This is very strange. Flonor has never opposed the Church of Martell. Rain, is that all you have to say? This is important. Why would Lloyd attack Flonor? Maybe he just wanted to kill more people. No, that doesn't make sense. You fought Lloyd before, but he chose not to kill you. You see what you mean? All the cities attacked up until now had been opposed to the Church of Martell, or at least suspected of it. Come to think of it, why did you two come this way? Oh, right. We discovered something terrible, too. We came to look for the Centurion's core, but... Lloyd got to it first? Not Lloyd. An accessory seller has it. What? We ran into the owner of an accessory shop just as we arrived. He was carrying the Centurion's core. 
Why didn't you just jack it? When we asked him to hand it over, he said he couldn't possibly part with such a valuable item. Steal it! Most unfortunate. That man is in danger. You're right. The core will warp the soul of any normal person who handles it. Affected parties are typically consumed with the desire to destroy everything in sight. He may become violent or even murderous. If that's true, wouldn't that explain Lloyd's attack on Flanor? You mean it's the Centurion's core that's making him act this way? Ah, I guess that would explain his recent actions. We have to go after Lloyd. Which way was his Rayard headed? Um, to the south, I think. South from here. He could be headed for Mel Tokyo. We'll leave Lloyd to you two. The rest of us will go after the Centurion's core. Regal, are you sure? I'm the one who requested to come along, remember? Then that means we'll be parting ways with you two again. You guys will go after the Centurion's core, and we'll go after Lloyd. The odds are good that our paths will cross again soon. Until then, be careful. Unless you get killed by Lloyd. <laughs> right. Well then, farewell. Oh, Rain, about that letter. I read every word. Wait, does that mean that you two are... Thanks, Rigo. Okay, Janus, let's go. Wait, but... but... Aww. Bye, Janus. Oh, the passion of love. It makes my heart race. Anyway, we should find that accessory shop in town. Let's go. He was embarrassed. How cute! Emil, if you wrote me a letter, I'd read every word of it, too. Oops, I'm not supposed to say things like that, right? S sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine, as in, keep doing it. Uh, I guess we should. We could actually head into the dungeon, but let's head back. Huh, I'm so jealous. Why is that, Marta? I was just thinking what it would be like to be in a mature relationship like Regal and Rain. I mean, it's so exciting. A mature relationship? You mean like having meddling in-laws? Being so poor you have to share a tiny piece of bread between the two of you? Huddling under a single blanket to ward off the cold at night? Ugh, that's so romantic! I was trying to be funny. That sounded horrible. I mean, I guess it could be taken as romantic by women. But come on. I wouldn't want to share one piece of bread with the one I love. Well, I... Okay, I kind of would, but... You know what? Let's just watch a skit. It's so cold. Yes, though it's much warmer here than it was before. It's hard to believe things like this happen just because Ratatosk is asleep. Lord Ratatosk brought us, the Centurions, together to command the monsters and restore balance to the mana flow. It's the only way to maintain stability in a world where mana didn't originally exist. What do you mean by that? Isn't mana the source of all life? According to Lord Ratatosk, initially this world was without mana, as the mana from the comet Deris Karlan accumulated here. The giant Karlan tree took root and forever changed the environment of this world. How long ago did that happen? Let's see, about 10,000 years ago at the very least. That long ago, it boggles the mind to think about it. 